Like it or not, drones are part of the future, and companies around the world are competing to design the most innovative concepts. Today, we're taking a look at 15 amazing new drone prototypes and concepts. Number 15, Kratos XQ-58A Valkyrie. The U.S. military leads the way in the development of drone technologies, and the unmanned aerial vehicles have been a part of modern warfare for more than a decade. They are, however, continually designing new prototypes, and the latest one to enter testing is the Kratos XQ-58A Valkyrie. Designed by Kratos Defense and Security Systems, the idea is that they'll be able to escort F-22 or F-35 manned fighter jets on missions and have the capability to deploy weapons and surveillance systems. They'll be controlled directly from the cockpit of the aircraft they're flying alongside and will also be able to act in a swarm of drones that's controlled from the ground. They have a top speed of 652 miles an hour and have two weapon bays with the capacity for up to 550 pounds of munitions. To further ensure they're able to perform their role and reach targets successfully, they're designed with a trapezoid-shaped fuselage, a V-tail, and an S-shaped air intake, which will make them one of the first stealth drones to enter deployment. After a successful test flight in 2019, it's expected the Valkyrie will begin service at some point within the next few years. Number 14. Parrot Reconnaissance Drone Parrot is a company that's known for producing a range of home electronics and is Europe's leading drone manufacturer, so it was only a matter of time before they began constructing UAVs for worldwide militaries. The first project, known as the Blue SUAS program, is being done with the US military and promises to offer a small and compact drone that can be used for reconnaissance. Specifically designed to be lightweight, portable, cheap to produce, and deployable in a fraction of the time it takes to prepare larger drones, they'll be able to quickly fly to developing incidents, and their potential for military as well as domestic law enforcement is enormous. One of the biggest concerns in the development of a drone like this is security, and these ones have been custom built to securely transmit data that's compatible with the systems that are already being used. With a powerful, stabilized 32 times zoom thermal imaging 4K video and live streaming, they'll be able to beam high quality live images back to the control center. After successful testing, it's thought that the blue SUAS drones will be available for procurement by the beginning of 2021. And you might well see one being used by police, government organizations, or the military very soon. Number 13, the RQ-180. Northrop Grumman has a long history of developing experimental aircraft for the military. It shouldn't come as a surprise that they're heavily involved in creating new drone designs, too. The latest, known simply as the RQ-180, remains highly classified, but what we do know is that it's a stealth drone that appears to be around the same size as the commonly used Global Hawk drone, but with far superior firepower and flight capabilities. From the information that's been released, it's thought that the wingspan of the drone will be 130 feet, and it'll have an operating altitude of 60,000 feet. Planned to operate in hostile airspace, they'll be extremely hard to detect and have an expected range of 14,000 miles. Only once has any official confirmation of the project been given during a press conference in 2014, but there have been several sightings in recent years around Area 51 that would suggest the RQ-180 is being tested from there. Apparently, those involved with the project have nicknamed the vehicle the Great White Bat and there's a very good chance that they've already been deployed, but that every effort is being made to ensure that the operational specifications don't fall in the hands of other militaries around the world. Number 12, Amazon Prime Air. Since starting as an online bookstore, Amazon has become one of the most influential companies on the planet, so much so that its founder is now the richest person in the world. Whenever you think of the company, there's no denying they're always striving to be on the cutting edge of technology, and they've revolutionized the idea of home delivery. There's a limitation with using roads to reach a customer's house, though, because delivery times are restricted by traffic and having to take an indirect route from the warehouse. The company is therefore developing a bespoke type of drone that'll remove all of these difficulties, and for items up to a certain weight, will be able to leave the warehouse as soon as an order is made and fly in a straight line towards its destination. Known as Amazon Prime Air, the amazing thing is that tests have already been successfully carried out, and the only thing preventing a mass rollout of this service across America is waiting for the regulatory bodies to catch up. Plans were originally for the first deliveries to take place in 2019, but delays have now meant that it's going to be the technology to watch out for in 2021. Number 11, Songar. Military forces around the world have for a long time had drones at their disposal that are able to drop bombs on target from high above, 
but any other weapons that require more precise aiming have proved to be more difficult to attach to the vehicles because of how tricky it can be to keep them balanced. This hurdle is about to be overcome though, and Turkey seems to be the first country to have developed a solution. They've already begun taking delivery of the new devices, called Songar, and each one is fitted with a machine gun that, according to its makers, has pinpoint accuracy. To launch into the air, the drone has eight rotating blades, and it's able to carry 200 rounds of ammunition and can fire individual shots or 15-round bursts. The developments they've included to make this happen are impressive. First is the addition of cameras and a laser rangefinder to determine the exact position of a target, and the second is a robotic arm that holds the machine gun and can counteract the effects of recoil when it fires. With a range of just over 7 miles, Songar also has night vision cameras, so it can be deployed whenever needed, and the potential applications for devices like these are virtually endless. Number 10. DJI Mavic 3 DJI is one of the world's leading commercial drone designers and manufacturers, and it's partly because of them that the devices have become so accessible to everyone in recent years. It has, however, been a long time since they released their latest flagship model, the Mavic 2, which was first available in 2016. Rumors have talked about the Mavic 3 for several years, but it now seems as if it may be released in 2021. The belief is that the company will build upon the technology that users are familiar with, but also plan to add a few features that will truly make this the next generation of consumer drone. As well as increased camera resolution, longer flight times, and a much greater degree of stability, it's also believed that the Mavic 3 will have LiDAR sensors and even a much greater payload weight, which means you'll be able to attach more than one camera for different angles or effects. The company remains tight-lipped about its plans, but if you're planning on buying a drone, you should watch this space. Number 9. Arcturus UAV Jump 20 The Arcturus T20 has been a design of drone that's been used by the U.S. Navy since 2009, capable of carrying large payloads, there were at least 20 of them in service, and with a wingspan of 17 feet and 6 inches, and a length of 9 feet 5 inches, they have a top speed of 86 miles per hour. They require a two-man crew to operate, and crucially, they have to be launched from a portable catapult that is either recovered from the water or can belly flop onto a flat surface. In many ways, it would be perfect if it wasn't for the takeoff and landing procedure, but the company has recently trialed the upgraded design, which is called the Jump 20. It now has full vertical takeoff capabilities, which means it can be launched from and land on small landing pads. And this significantly increases scenarios it can be deployed in, but also how secretive the operations being carried out by them can be. Initial tests of the Jump 20 have, according to reports, gone well, and they could soon be used alongside other vertical takeoff vehicles, like helicopters, to provide a quick response to any threat that might emerge. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Einride T-Pod. Not all drones have to fly in the air, and there's a whole different area of research that's looking at the design of autonomous vehicles that drive on the roads. These aren't the self-driving cars that a lot of companies are looking at developing, but an alternative option for transporting goods and supplies. The leading company in this area is called Einride, and in October of 2020, they revealed their prototype, which is called the T-Pod. With plans to roll out to clients in 2021, there are actually four different variants that will be offered. The cabless T-Pod has already undergone road trials and is being used by a German haulage company, while there's a more powerful version called the T-Log that's designed for the timber industry. The company is now adding a new range of trucks, which weigh 26 tons and have a maximum cargo weight of 16 tons, but are specifically adapted for certain uses. With top speeds of 18 miles per hour and a range of around 200 miles, they aren't going to replace the transport of delicate items anytime soon, but they'll be soon carving out their own niche in the haulage market. Number 7. L3 Harris FVR90 The L3 Harris FVR90 is another model of drone that will potentially be used by the military, and it too has vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Designed to stay airborne for up to 22 hours, the drone can carry a payload of up to 22 pounds and is intended to be used as a reconnaissance aircraft. They use a familiar quadcopter designed to fly, just take an hour to unbox and launch and feature a modular system whereby parts can be removed and replaced to make them more suited for the task at hand. They'll be able to be used to scout enemy strongholds, for example, or to chart the spread of wildfires through a region and are much smaller than the models of drones that are currently used for these purposes. 
The FBR-90 is just 98 inches long, has a wingspan of 185 inches, and weighs 70 pounds when it's empty. It has a maximum range of 810 miles and a cruising speed of around 40 to 50 miles an hour. Its service ceiling is 18,000 feet, meaning there's hardly anywhere it isn't able to go. And while the design was created for military applications, there are so many different uses for a drone like this that countless industries will surely be looking into getting one for themselves. Number 6. The Ring Home Security Drone Ring is a company that's best known for producing smart doorbells for homes that allow their owners to see who's at the door without needing to be there. But they've got their sights far wider than being a company of convenience. They're also entering the home security market. In 2020, they made headlines with their latest device, called the Always Home Cam, and it's designed to be able to fly around the interior spaces of your home to give you a view of what's going on whenever you want to see. And once you're done, it'll return to recharge in its stocking pod. It's fully autonomous, so it's equipped with sensors to ensure it won't crash into a wall or closed door. But users can also take control of the steering too. The camera only records when the drone is in flight, and Ring has already suggested a number of ways in which a device like this will be helpful. Say, for example, you've left home and have forgotten if you left the stove on. Instead of having to drive back to check, you can send the drone to look for you, saving you a wasted trip if, in fact, you had remembered to turn it off. It can also be set to listen out and detect any signs of a break-in when you're out. And in this scenario, it'll fly into the air and record video footage of any intruders to be used as evidence. Initially, people were skeptical about the announcement of this drone because of privacy concerns. But when they're finally released in 2021, it's more than likely that they'll become the must-have home security device of the year. Number 5. Tyrannus It's not just the American military that dedicates vast resources to the development of drones, as virtually every country in the world is creating their own. In Britain, the latest prototypes to enter testing is known as the Tyrannus, and it's manufactured by BAE Systems. Named after the Celtic god of thunder, the first flight took place in 2013, and since then they've been perfecting the design. The program cost is so far estimated to be more than a quarter of a billion dollars, and there's still quite some way to go before it's ready to fly into a combat zone. Far from being an aircraft for recon, the Tyrannus is described as an unmanned warplane and will be able to carry a similar payload to a regular fighter jet. At 41 feet long and with a wingspan of 33 feet, it's projected to have a top speed in excess of Mach 1. It'll be able to fly intercontinental missions and will carry weapons to allow it to engage with ground and air targets. Crucially, it's designed to be a stealth aircraft, so it will have an incredibly low radar profile. It'll also be controlled via satellite, which means the operator can, in theory, be anywhere on Earth, with the first operational version expected to enter service by the end of the decade. Number 4. Loyal Wingman Drone Boeing has been working with partners around the world to develop the next generation of unmanned aircraft. And one of the most promising designs is the Loyal Wingman Drone, which had been created in collaboration with the Royal Australian Air Force. It's intended to be used as an escort to manned aircraft, and has cost more than $100 million just to get to the prototype stage. According to those involved in the project, it has a theoretical range of 2,300 miles, and will be the first military aircraft to be fully designed and built in Australia for more than 50 years. Armed with similar weapon systems to the manned jets it will accompany, the Loyal Wingman drone will either be operated from the ground or will automatically fly in formation. Flight tests have already begun taking place, and if everything goes to plan, it's hoped that the final design will be able to go into production by 2025, at which point it will significantly enhance the capabilities of the Australian Air Force. They will buy three of them to begin with, and Boeing retains the rights to sell them to other nations too so long as they pass strict security measures to ensure they never fall into the wrong hands. Number 3. The Black Hornet Nano Because they carry such heavy weaponry and surveillance systems, military drones are far larger than the consumer ones we can buy in the local electronics store. This doesn't mean that militaries only need large aircraft, however. There's also a drive to create a miniaturized version that can sneak into enemy territory without being spotted. Prox Dynamics, a technology company from Norway, has dedicated a huge amount of research and development in the past decade to create a solution for this. And what they came up with was the Black Hornet Nano. At just 4 inches long by 1 inch wide, they are virtually invisible to the enemy and can be used to fly above the battlefield to instantly give situational awareness to the operator. They're also incredibly easy to use, with the manufacturers claiming it takes just 20 minutes to learn how to operate one, and a full charge can be achieved within 25 minutes. A version of the Black Hornet was released in 2014 that was equipped with a night vision camera, 
and various other sensors as well. It could broadcast a live feed up to a mile away, and at least 3,000 of them have been so far delivered to military customers. This is far from the end of the development process, however, and Prox Dynamics has continued to further miniaturize the components they use and increase the flight time. The latest version of the Black Hornet is due to become available soon, and according to recent reports, the U.S. Army has placed an order for 8,000 of them. This isn't something that'll come cheap, either. An order for 160 units of a previous model reportedly cost $25 million, so you can only imagine how expensive this new consignment will be. Number 2. The Audi AI Trail Drones are usually thought of as having either military purposes or on a consumer front, giving the ability to capture stunning images from heights that were previously only possible by hiring a helicopter. We're really only just at the beginning of how the technology can assist us and companies across all industries have been investigating how they can make use of autonomous aerial vehicles. One of the most surprising prototypes didn't come from a traditional drone manufacturer, but from a company that's best known for making cars. Audi, with the AI Trail, demonstrated in 2019 that drones can be used for far more than recording videos and dropping bombs, and if their concept vehicle is anything to go by, we'll be seeing drones in every avenue of life before you know it. The car itself is a four-wheel drive beast that's designed to be taken off-road at every opportunity. It's forward thinking, it's powered by an electric motor and has a cabin that looks like it would be more at home on a helicopter than a car. The main selling point of it, though, are the headlights. There are five of them, but you won't see them on the front of the car or hidden beneath the hood. Instead, they're attached to the five drones that come with it and are launched from a pod on the roof. When it's dark, they'll automatically lift off and will hover in front of the car to light the way ahead. This isn't all they do, though. Have you ever tried walking to your car in complete darkness and struggled to open the door? When the AI trail senses someone approaching, the drones will illuminate the route to the car and hover at the door until you've entered. They are also, of course, fitted with cameras, too, so they will record everything they see on their journey. A lot of people in the tech industry see this drone innovation as the most exciting of them all. Perhaps Audi hasn't fully realized the potential yet, but it shows that there are plenty of different avenues that are yet to be explored and we may soon all have drones that perform tasks for us in one way or another. Number 1. Hermes 900 The Hermes 900 is a medium-sized drone that was developed and produced by the Israeli-based company Elbit Systems. With a flight time of 30 hours and a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet, it's one of the most commonly used drones by militaries around the world, thanks to a variety of uses. It's primarily a reconnaissance and surveillance aircraft and can be fitted with a wide range of sensors and payloads. After being released in 2012, customers so far have been defense departments around the world that don't have the funds necessary to develop a drone of their own. But this doesn't mean they're cheap. With the price of several million dollars per unit, only those with healthy budgets can even think of buying one. And this has so far prevented non-military departments from looking at their potential uses. This could all be about to change, however. Following a trial in the UK that took place in 2020, the Hermes 900 is so good at its role of surveillance that the idea is to use them for search and rescue operations, particularly at sea, and they have the potential to revolutionize the way emergency services respond to incidents. Natural disasters, for example, often prevent access to the worst hit regions by road for significant amounts of time, and if a drone could be sent instead, it will allow authorities to assess what help is needed and where. After a successful trial, the British Maritime and Coast Guard Agency looks set to purchase a redesigned version of the drone by 2024, and it probably won't be long until other agencies around the world follow suit. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.